All right, guys, these capers here uh, are what they're after. The females, the females are all in these capers laying eggs. This is crazy. I've never, I've never really seen a population like this so thick, but this is all host plant right here, guys. And then all of these little new shoots here are gonna start having eggs on them. Um, very cool, man. It's a, we came here for a, for one butterfly, but we're able to make a, a whole new video. See, look at her, oh, look at her laying eggs. Check it out, guys. She's laying eggs right here. She's got a big old egg cluster. She's dropping them down, boy. Look at that. How cool. Let's see if I can get a better shot from the, oh yeah. Look at that. Got them going. Sweet. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these home and breed them. Check it out. Whoa. You like that? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. All right, southern white eggs hatched. See the caterpillar starting to crawl up onto the caper. There they are. All right, day one, Southern White. All right, day two of Southern Whites. Hatches. And looks like they're living just fine, eating just fine. They seem to be somewhat, somewhat gregarious, like they'll stick together and eat, eat on the same twig side by side they probably become, become a little bit more uh, independent as they get a little older and we got a good number of them in here so oh yeah we sure do yeah so this stem i'll probably have to switch out soon the leaves are starting to turn a little yellow um, and they do not eat the little flowerlets up here, apparently. They like the leaves, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, it's not the flowers, it's the leaves. The little, and the leaves are tiny, there's little tiny little things. But they're going to town. So that's good news. Southern whites are on their way. Still tiny though. Got a long way to go. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to show you what we're feeding our southern whites. This is what we call peppergrass. It's actually in the caper family, and it grows in the grass. And so, uh, if, especially if you have weedy grass like me, uh, every spring, peppergrass will start popping up. And what you do is you find one with the leaves, because you, you don't want just these flowers. You need some actual green leaves here underneath that's what the caterpillars eat you come down here as low as you can to the dirt and pull it up from the soil and then we'll cut it right here put it into a water pick and then that'll be enough for some caterpillars for a few days and we've got as much pepper grass as we want just right here in our grass so pretty cool easy plant to find very easy butterfly to raise check it out okay time to upgrade these caterpillars in, that are in this little 16 ounce cup into a container a larger container now what i got is a four ounce cup and the lid i've cut some little grooves in it and what i do with that is i just use those little grooves to you know there's water inside the cup and i use the little grooves to poke the these guys through and that way it gives me a good little platform uh, to keep let's see oops 
always run into issues filming and working. I only have two hands. All right, so as you can see, the stems go clearly into the water. Uh, it's a nice little display. Maybe the missus would like a peppergrass display. Probably not. All right, now I got my, um, I think it's a 12 quart container and it's a great size. These caterpillars are probably second in star. Um, that will be enough food for two or three days at least, I'd imagine, for this many caterpillars. Now, let's go into this cup and see how these guys look, and we'll see what we're doing here. Um, it doesn't appear that there are any caterpillars on the lid. Is that a caterpillar? No. No, no caterpillars on the lid. All right. Good. They are starting to take their southern white caterpillar shape and color. Um, they have like uh, they're green and yellow with these little little spots, and there's a good number of them. There's probably I would say twenty five or thirty caterpillars in here. So what is that? Oh, just a leaf. All right. But there's a good view, let's see. There's a good view of what I believe is a third instar caterpillar. And they're gonna eat the, the leaves, not the flowers. Well, maybe they are up in there eating the flowers. All right, here's what we're gonna do. So now the tricky part is to grab this in a place where I'm not gonna squish any of these guys. Let's see if I can, one guy's parachuting off, All right? Parachute off onto another stem. What I'm gonna to try to do, if there's no caterpillars in the middle of there, no, I don't see any. Um, I'm going to try and actually pick this out and I'm just gonna lay it upside down right on top of our other stem. And that way, the caterpillars can all just crawl down onto the next stems. And that's, I don't have to pluck them off. I don't have to do any gymnastics with the caterpillars. Um, they'll, they'll do the work themselves. Now, I still have to go through here and make sure there's no caterpillars in the cup. Yeah, see, there's one there. Sorry, my washing machines going through the spin cycle. Um, I might just, yeah, I might just do that. I'm just gonna put it right on top and let them find it themselves. And that's about it, guys. There's no more caterpillars in the cup. Um, we can just put the lid on top now and we are good to go for probably three days at least. I'm good for three days on this. I might have to change the paper towel lining or something like that, but there's plenty of food there. And as you can see, pepper grass is plenty easy to find. So as these guys get a little bit bigger, I'll just add two or three of these little cups with a bunch of pepper grass in this container, and that'll be enough to raise them through. So I uh, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up, please. Uh, we have Southern Whites coming your way soon. Um, we've got some other neat critters. I'm breeding. Let's see if I can get you a view here through the container. Can I? Let's see. I'm breeding white M hair streaks, which are really cool. In fact, let me just show you guys. I'm going to show you some white M hair streaks, caterpillars. I've got a bunch of them in here. Um, I just fed them this morning and there are, there are a ton of caterpillars in this container right now. Let's see if I can find you one. Are there, I wanna show you guys, oh, there we go. There we go. There is a white M hair streak caterpillar right there, guys. I've got over a hundred of these. Uh, I've got them in like five or six different containers. Oh, there's, there's another one. There's another one. Dude, they're, I, they're, they're all over the place. So 
Um, tune into our channel to see the white M hair streaks, guys. There, it's a beautiful butterfly, and we're raising a whole bunch of them. Look at that's a big, big dog right there. They actually turn cannibalistic, so we have to be a little bit careful. But uh, tune in to our channel to see how we do getting white M hair streaks to lay eggs and how to breed the caterpillars and how to care for them in captivity. Um, look at that big dog right there. Oh, baby. Look at that. I'm a hair streak nerd. I love me some hair streaks. So, all right, guys. Take care. Like, subscribe, and share. Till next time. Let's get out there and enjoy some caterpillars in South Florida or wherever the heck you are from. They're out there. <laughs> Bye.